Hello, and this is a video on finding the total amount, 100%. Um, so how would you find 100% of a particular number? So you can use the fact that a percentage is out of 100. Like how, You could write a percentage as a fraction out of 100, and you can use that to help solve these particular problems. So let's see. Um, for example, 10% of what number is 7? So first of all, I would suggest you use the fact that a percentage is out of 100. So 10% as a fraction would be 10 over, what would it be over? It would be over 100. Of what number is 7? So 10 over 100, therefore, is the same as 7 over what mystery number? And that mystery number in the box is going to be our answer. The 10% of what number is 7? So one strategy you, you could use um, is you could simplify the fraction on the left. So 10 over 100, you can divide them both by 10 to make it 1 over 10. So this is going to make life a lot easier. So 1 over 10 equals, still equals 7 over our mystery number. And then you can start to think, that's a nice easy one to think, 1 times what equals 7? So 1 times 7 equals 7. So you could multiply the bottom number by the same amount to get the mystery number. So if 1 tenth, 1 equals 7, 10 must equal 10 times 7, which is 70. So, and it does make sense because 10% of what number is 7? Um, so the answer is 70. Oops. That here. And it does make sense because 70 is our answer, so I'll put that here and I'll circle it. And it makes sense because as 10% of 70 is 7. So that's why it makes sense. Because it said 10% of what number is 7? 10% of 70 is 7. So that's why 70 is our answer. Let's continue on and I'll do a few more quickly. 20% of what number is 43? Feel free to pause and try it yourself first if you want. So 20% is 20 over 100. 20% of what number is the same as 43 over the mystery number? Um, and then you can simplify the fraction on the left. You can divide the top and bottom by 20. So divide the top and bottom by 20, or you can do 2 tenths first, which then simplifies to 1 fifth equals 43. Over what number? Over a mystery number. And so 1 times what equals 43? 1 times 43 is 43. So we need to do 5 times 43. And we now need to think, what is 5 times 43? Would it be 215? It might be. So our answer therefore is 215. Um, you don't need to write this stuff on the side, but maybe it's just helpful as a reference. As 20% of 215 is 43. It might just be helpful for you to refer back to. Okay, feel free to pause and try the other ones, and then I'll just kind of write up the answers to these ones quickly. Find the number when 30% of the number is 27. So it's just written in a different way. 30% is 30 over 100. Oops, not 30 over 11. 30 over 100, and that's the same as 27 over the mystery number. You can simplify the fraction again, it always just makes life easier. Divide the top and bottom by 10, you get 3 tenths equals 27 over our mystery number. These have all been nice ones to work out, because 3 times something equals 27. So 3 times what equals 27? 3 times 9. So to keep it all balanced, you've got to multiply the top and bottom by the same number. To make, we're making, basically, we're making an equivalent fraction to 3 tenths. Um, and then the denominator is our answer. So our answer is 90. Um, I'll just quickly write the reference as 30% um, of 90 whoops, is 27. So the answer is 90 in um, yellow. We've got two more to do just quickly. So find the number 
when 170% of the number is 51. So 170%, you can still write it as a percent. That's just 170 over 100. It is 51 over our missing number. And let's simplify our fraction. We can divide the top and bottom by 10. Get 17 over 10 equals 51 over our mystery number. Now, 17 times what equals 51? So you might realise already that it's 3, but if you didn't realise, you could just work it out on the side. What is 51? Sorry, what is 51 divided by 17? 51 divided by 17 is 3. So times by 3, 17 times 3 is 51. So that's a strategy. If you can't work out what that you multiply both of them by, do 51 divided by 17. Um, so 10 times 3 is 30. Um, so our answer is 30. And it makes sense. I'll write this once more as 170% of 30 is 51. And our last one might be a bit more tricky. Let's see. Um, in a store wide sale, an item has a sale price of $20. After a reduction of 30%, what was the original price? This one's a little bit trickier. So I think we've got to think, what is the percentage? 30% doesn't represent 28. So $28 is after a reduction of 30%. So think like, say if there was a piece of paper, if you reduced it by 30%, like if you cut this bit off, what percentage is left behind? And that's right, you would have... 70% left behind. So 70% is what $28 represents because it's what percentage is left behind after the reduction of 30%. So 70%, so 70, so 70 over 100 equals, 70 over 100 equals 28 over our mystery number. Over that one. And then you can simplify your fraction. So you'll get 7 over 10. Divide the top of one by 10. Equals 28 over our mystery number. And that's an easy one to see what you multiply by. Multiply by 4. Multiply by 4. 10 times 4 is 40. So what was the original price? We need units for this one. It was $40. And that does make sense. Have a look and think, does it make sense? Um, as, you could say, um, as 70% of $40 is $28. So you can always look and see if it makes sense. Um, okay, thank you very much for listening. Um, we're just going to finish up pretty soon. I'll just make this nice and big. What do you want to say, girls? Hi!